What's going on guys, it's DC Yankee here with another weekly recap video. Sorry I didn't do a, a prediction video over the weekend. Um, I was busy and I'm also sick so I'm not going to do any like, I'm not going to speak loudly, I'm just going to speak like this. <coughs> not feeling well today, but not only am I not feeling well, but I'm feeling upset man. Because yesterday's game for the Giants, this game we deserve to lose. I have nothing, nothing to say about that. Game we deserve to lose, man. Well, nothing else to say. Too many stupid penalties. Man, I, I love Eli. I love Eli Manning, no doubt, but... He didn't play that good yesterday. Sorry, man. I mean... I defend this man a lot on Twitter. Like, I'm tired. Like, I defend him a lot from all those ignorant haters he has, but... He just wasn't that good yesterday. That's probably that's probably why he gets the hate, but I still love Eli no matter what. Only positive out of that well, there was a few positives out of that game. I mean Odell at least exposed Norman again. We kinda exposed him in the last game, but this game he definitely exposed him. Got six of his seven catches for He got six of his seven catches and hundred and seven of his hundred twenty one yards off of Josh Norman. That over overrated zone corner bum that's getting paid 75 million over one good season <coughs> and he can't even look he can't even cover number one receiver and guess what he covered number one receiver yeah he got exposed all game he got torched i don't care what y'all say you can say oh they still won the oh who won i'm like i don't care norman can't cover all that all i gotta say so um there were some positives from that game uh, the offense is off to a good start. Defense is playing good. And all of a sudden, we just couldn't keep the momentum going from the first quarter. Shane Vereen was working the, was the workload because Rashad Jennings was hurt. But there has been reports saying that he might be done for the year with a triceps injury that he needs surgery on. But at the same time, I mean, it sucks to see a player go down injury, but... He was having some ball carrying issues these past few weeks. Um, I'm trying to make this quick video quick because uh, I'm going to be busy for the rest of the day. So, <coughs> right, I'll, I'll try to make this video quick. So, Texas Patriots, um, Patriots shut up Texans. Brissett had a good day in his first NFL start. Um, this was a surprise. Cardinals got destroyed by the Bills. Like, I expected the Cardinals to blow them out. All of a sudden, it's just completely opposite. Uh, Palmer had an awful day through three interceptions. David Jones had both touchdowns for the team, I think. Uh, Raiders, Titans. Mario Cooper didn't do crap for me and my fantasy team. Neither did Fitzgerald. And yet I, I started both of them, and I kept Sterling Shepard on my bench. And he got me 13 points. <sighs> oh, well. Um, how about this? Dolphins won in overtime against the Browns. Like, seriously? Uh, Ravens beat the Jags. Jags are not looking good, man. All all the hype in the offseason, all of a sudden, they're just not looking good. They're 0-3. Offense just hasn't been in sync. Defense hasn't been in sync. Um, Aaron Rodgers was finally getting his stuff together. Uh, threw four touchdown passes. After only throwing, I think, three touchdown passes his first two weeks. But yeah, um, they're just getting their rhythm going. Um... Trevor Simeon had a good day. Four touchdowns for him, I believe, as the Broncos beat the Bengals. I had the Bengals winning that game, so... My predictions... Oh, my predictions. Yeah, I think my predictions were probably awful. Vikings beat the... How about this? Vikings beat the Pan Panthers. And I expected the Panthers to win, but Cam Newton got sacked eight times, and he got picked off three times. And Calvin Benjamin had no catches all game. The worst part is I started Benjamin, too. And now I'm worried about the Vikings because we got to play them next Monday night. Oh, great. This, this loss really hurt us really bad because now we got the Vikings and Packers coming up. Um, Rams finally scored touchdowns for once. Beat the Bucks 37-32. Seahawks beat the Niners 37-18. <coughs> um, this possibility, Russell Wilson... Might have a serious injury. Just saying it's an MCL injury. He got injured on the play, but I forgot when it, when it happened. 
Um, how about this? Jets lose by 21 against the Chiefs. Ryan Fitzpatrick threw six interceptions. Yes, I said it. Six interceptions. I said it. And one of them was actually a pick six, so that makes the thing ironic. Fitzpatrick threw six interceptions, and... Wow, well, I really don't know what to say. I mean, I, I think that's really funny, man. And all those Jets fans in the past are saying, Oh, Fitzpatrick's better than Eli. Oh, Eli trash. Listen, boy. Who threw six interceptions? Oh, that's right. Your boy Fitzpatrick did. He threw six interceptions. Six interceptions, so suck it. Um, Chargers lose to the Colts. Colts get the first one of the year. Oh, yeah, I don't know about this, man, but I think the Eagles are looking legit, man. Not gonna lie. Like, I had none against their defense. Their defense is really good. They look like, their defense looks like top five caliber. I was thinking they weren't going to do good because they're off, because I was skeptical about their offense. But what I've seen from Carson Wentz so far, he's actually doing good. Uh, and I guess I was wrong about the Eagles. Well, one, because, you know, I hate them. You know, and two, I wasn't feeling the hype. Uh, Bears lose to the Cowboys by 14. Dak Prescott finally threw a touchdown pass. And it was to, you know who, Des Bryant. Here come the Cowboys fans. Saying, oh, Des, Des the best receiver in the league because cause of touchdowns. But yeah, whatever. So, you know what, I'm just going to wrap it up, this video. This is just a quick video because I had some, some crap that I do later. And plus, I, I, I was going to do this video tomorrow, but I have a test on Wednesday. So, man. so I got to prepare for that. <coughs> That's why I'm doing this before the Falcons game, but... For the Falcons game, I have Falcons and Saints game. I have the Falcons winning 33-27. That's my final prediction. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and hopefully, I feel better so I don't sound like this again. So, I'm out. Peace.